something really special on Golf Getaway. I'm on the sixth hole on the red course at Indrapilly Golf Course, or Golf Club, and I'm with the designer, Ross Watson. Ross, welcome to Golf Getaway. Thanks, Andrew. Lovely day. What's happening here? Well, um, a lot of earthworks, as you can see, but um, largely driven by the fact that the clubs had this out of bounds issue up there where you can see the housing. Uh, years and years ago, the, those houses weren't there. Obviously, balls went over the road, but no problem. But it's become a real issue, and we've got plenty of land, as you can see here. And, and another thing that's driving this as well is this, uh, you can see this lake down here and the lake beyond. Yeah. The club has a need to get as much water storage on site as possible because it, you know, we, do, we do have seen more droughts these days than yeah. in the past. So the lake is providing the fill to create the golf hole, which essentially is being shifted about 40, 50 metres to the right to get clearance from the out, so, uh, out of bounds. So the out of, people were hitting it out of bounds, you thought mm. we need to shift the hole more this way. The hole's obviously way up in the distance there yeah. with the, cat, the caterpillar up yeah. in the green, yes. and you've just pushed it across. Yeah, the green's in the same spot, tee's in the same spot. We've just shifted the landing area and the, yeah. and the route between here and the, the green. It's pretty rare for a golf club in Australia to be having a, a bit of development these days, isn't it? Yeah, it's been a bit slow uh, in the last few years, that's for sure, for one reason or another. But yeah. Um, um, yeah, I mean, this is a massive earthworks for one single golf hole. If you, if you see that little grass slope in front of the roller there, that was the original slope that carried on right through up to the green. Right. So we've literally dug the lake and shifted that entire bank out, you know, yeah. 30, 40 metres. And that's, that's why we've got so much earthworks. And Ross, as a visual guy myself, what do you see before you, you know, a big project like this goes into place? You as the architect, what do you, what do you, how does it work for you? Like, what's the process? Well, it's all it's second nature because I've been doing it for so long, but uh, all this is done with contour design. So we've got contours of the ground as it is, right. and then over that I superimpose the contours of what I want. On the computer? No, by hand, and yeah. then of course it, then it goes into the computer yeah. because we need to quantify cut and fill to yeah. get a balance, of, you know, we need as much cut as fill, obviously, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I mean, through years and years of experience of working with contours, I can visualise the finished product as yeah. I draw it. Yeah. Yeah. And then you get the workers to do the work for you? Well, these guys, uh, the guy up there on the dozer and the guy driving that excavator have worked with me for a long, long time. Yeah. So they know, that when they see the plans, they, they've got a pretty good idea of what to do, yeah. Thanks, Ross.